The Indiana Fever season has been over for weeks now, but there are still WNBA players who are complaining about the fans and the atmosphere playing in Indiana. So is it really that scary? Hey, LeBron, you are 100% right on these girls hating on Caitlin Clark. Yo, petty girls. <laughs> Alyssa Thomas, in particular, has been quite outspoken. She's frustrated with the WNBA's low ratings, and instead of focusing on the game, she's blaming Caitlin Clark and accusing her fans of racism. But let's take a step back and really think about what's going on. Caitlin Clark came into the league and quickly made a name for herself. She broke records, brought in large crowds, and became the face of the game. She didn't just play basketball, she brought excitement to every game she was in. Her presence alone had fans flocking to the arenas and tuning in from home. If Caitlin wasn't playing, the excitement seemed to vanish. So we don't want fans that are, are going to degrade us and, and call us names. I mean, we already see what, what's happening in the world. Something needs to be done, whether it's, you know, them checking their fans. Alyssa Thomas doesn't seem to see it that way, though. She's convinced the issue isn't the WNBA's inability to draw attention, but rather Caitlin Clark herself and her fan base. Thomas made bold claims after a playoff series, calling out Clark's fans as being racist. She didn't just stop there. She brought attention to how, once Indiana was eliminated from the playoffs, those fans didn't stick around. For Thomas, it seems like an attack on Caitlin Clark, as if she's the reason why people aren't interested in watching the WNBA. We all know what this really is. It's an attack on Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark's the wrong face for this league because her fans are so racist. It's not just Alyssa Thomas feeling this way either. Angel Reese, another top player, had her moment in the spotlight when she boldly stated that people were watching women's basketball because of her. However, after Caitlin Clark was knocked out of the playoffs, it seemed like the spotlight shifted. Reese found herself in a situation where the audience that once cheered for her wasn't as excited anymore. The spotlight dimmed, and she was left trying to figure out why the energy she once felt wasn't there. Yeah, the reason why we watch women's basketball is not just because of one person, it's because of me too, and I want y'all to realize that. The problem is clear. Fans are coming to the games for Caitlin Clark, not for the other players. The attention the WNBA received this season had a lot to do with her presence. When the Fever were still in the playoffs, the viewership was high. As soon as they were out, the ratings tanked. It's almost as if the league is relying too heavily on one player to keep the momentum going. And maybe she hasn't felt this type of energy in arenas her entire career, and specifically when they're playing against the Indiana Fever, because the WNBA has never seen fans like they have this season. Let's look at the numbers. The WNBA saw a surge in popularity this year, but the reality is that a significant portion of that success is due to Caitlin Clark. For example, when Clark played for the Indiana Fever, the games had massive viewership. Her games brought in millions of viewers, numbers the WNBA had never seen before. It's hard to ignore the impact she's had. The Fever's playoff series against the Connecticut Sun brought in over 3 million viewers, the most ever for a WNBA game. That's a huge deal. Should your scenario take place, Jason, and it steadily declines? I want this, this actually needs to be studied. What other sports league has diminishing ratings as you get closer to the championship? That actually would be, that would actually embolden the argument that there's a certain guard that now plays in Indiana truly should be the logo of that. But it's not just the TV ratings that have skyrocketed. Attendance at games where Clark played was through the roof. Indiana's home games saw a record number of fans. And when they played away, those arenas were packed too. In fact, the Fever's average attendance shattered records that had been set years ago. Caitlin Clark didn't just set records, she broke them and then some. The Fever's home games averaged over 1,600 fans per game, while road games saw an increase in attendance of 36% compared to other teams. Ratings, I believe, two Sundays ago with Caitlin Clark, she drew 1.8 million viewers on an NFL Sunday. This past NFL Sunday, Asia Wilson drew 900,000. One player brought that much attention to the league. Clark's impact didn't stop there. She also played a huge role in merchandise sales. Fans were snatching up her jerseys like hotcakes. 
and the WNBA saw a 61% increase in sales compared to the previous year. It's clear that Caitlin Clark wasn't just another player, she was the reason fans were tuning in and showing up. Now, with Clark out of the playoffs, the WNBA is facing a big challenge. The viewership dropped drastically, and it became evident just how much the league relied on her to keep people interested. Without her, the WNBA struggled to maintain the momentum it had built during the regular season. For example, the first weekend of the WNBA playoffs without Caitlin Clark saw a significant dip in attention and viewership. The games just didn't draw the same crowds, and it wasn't just the fans in the stands who were missing. Viewership on TV dropped as well. Some postseason games couldn't even pull in half a million viewers, a far cry from the numbers when Clark was still in the mix. The league has been hostile to Caitlin Clark. It's been hostile to Caitlin Clark fans. The drop in attendance was just as noticeable. While the Fever's home games had been a huge success during the regular season, once they were out, the attendance numbers dropped sharply. Games that once drew thousands of fans were now struggling to get even 5,000 people in the stands. It was a stark contrast to the electric atmosphere that Caitlin Clark had created during the season. All of this raises an important question. How does the WNBA keep the excitement alive without Caitlin Clark? The league has been so dependent on her for viewership and attendance that now, without her, they're facing an uphill battle. The WNBA needs to figure out how to maintain the momentum they've gained, or they risk losing the attention of fans and the progress they've made this season. In the 2023 season, the WNBA had grown by 40% viewership from 2022 to 2023. But with Caitlin Clark's arrival, it's grown by 400% viewership. What that means is if the WNBA were continued to grow at the rate it grew from 22 to 23, it would take until 2028 to do what Caitlin Clark did. Clark's impact was undeniable. She was the driving force behind the WNBA's growth this year. She wasn't just a player. She was a phenomenon. But now, with her gone, the league is struggling to find its footing again. Can they continue to grow and attract fans without her? Only time will tell. The bottom line is that Caitlin Clark was the reason people were watching. She brought the excitement, the fans, and the ratings. But now, the WNBA is facing a tough road ahead without her. The question remains, how can the league keep moving forward without its biggest star? The Indiana Fever's sudden decline after Caitlin Clark's exit wasn't just a random fluke. It became painfully obvious that the league's success, in large part, hinged on her presence. But how did this all come to be? Caitlin Clark wasn't just any player. She came into the WNBA with an already massive following from her college days, where she dominated in every game she played. Number of viewers for WNBA games that Kaylee Clark is not in is like three to four million. When she's in the game, when it's her game playing, it's like 17 million. Yeah. Well, I, I also look at the attendance in the arena. Yes. It's eight to 10,000 everywhere else. Mm. Kaylee Clark, 17, eight. People weren't just watching her for her skills. They were hooked on the excitement and energy she brought to the court. When Clark joined the Fever, it was like the team went from being a regular contender to becoming the must-watch event of the season. For the first time, the Fever games became more than just basketball matches. They turned into full-blown events. The kind where people lined up outside the stadium just to catch a glimpse of the action. And it wasn't just in Indiana. Every city Clark played in saw record numbers. The buzz was everywhere, on social media, on TV, and even in casual conversations. Clark was the face of a WNBA season that finally seemed to be catching the attention of the masses. However, as exciting as her rise was, it exposed a bigger problem within the WNBA, the league's dependence on a single player. Unsurprisingly, the viewership in the WNBA playoffs tanked, tanked into the ground after Caitlin Clark was knocked out of the playoffs. So let's read here. The first weekend of the WNBA playoffs without rookie phenom, Caitlin Clark were a bit quieter in terms of attention and viewership. In a sport that has been trying for years to break through into mainstream popularity, relying so heavily on one star was always a risky bet. And when that star gets eliminated, the cracks begin to show. Once Clark and the Fever were knocked out of the playoffs, everything changed. Attendance dropped sharply, TV viewership plummeted, 
and the excitement that once surrounded the games disappeared almost overnight. Fans that had been there for Clark were no longer tuning in, leaving other players and teams wondering what had gone wrong. Some of the league's top stars, like Angel Reese and Alyssa Thomas, were left to pick up the pieces. Reese had been confident that she could draw fans in on her own, but without the Caitlin Clark effect, it seemed like the spotlight on her was starting to dim. Alyssa Thomas, meanwhile, wasn't just worried about basketball. She spoke openly about the treatment of WNBA players and how some fans were behaving in ways that made her feel uncomfortable, even raising concerns about racist behavior from certain fan bases. It wasn't just about basketball anymore. It was about the WNBA's struggle to find its identity and its place in the larger sports world. With players like Thomas speaking out about these deeper issues, it became clear that the WNBA's challenges went beyond the court. They were dealing with a much larger problem, how to sustain the momentum they had built without relying on one star player to carry the weight. And it wasn't just the players feeling the pressure. The league itself was grappling with the sudden drop in viewership and attendance. The fever had set a new record for attendance throughout the season, with over 34,000 fans coming out to watch their games. But after Clark's exit, those numbers took a nosedive, with some games barely managing to bring in 5,000 spectators. Let's just say the ratings aren't the same with Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever now eliminated. Game one of the Aces Liberty matchup on Sunday drew an average of 929 thousand viewers was down nearly 50 percent from last sunday's fever sun contest by the way not only was viewership down but attendance was as well. it was a stark contrast to the electrifying atmosphere that had surrounded the team just weeks before the wnba had been on an upward trajectory in recent years growing its viewership by 40 percent from 2022 to 2023 but with clark in the mix that growth skyrocketed by 400 percent an unheard of number for any league, let alone the WNBA. It was clear that Clark's presence had catapulted the league into new territory. But now that she was out, the WNBA was facing the harsh reality of maintaining that success. One of the most glaring issues was how much the WNBA relied on Clark's games to drive viewership. When she was on the court, millions of fans tuned in. Some of the biggest games of the season like the Fever's playoff series against the Connecticut Sun, drew over 3 million viewers, the most watched WNBA game ever. But without her, games struggled to break 300,000 viewers, a sharp decline that left the league scrambling to figure out how to keep fans engaged. Even the merchandise sales, which had seen a massive 61% increase from the previous year, were largely driven by Clark. Fans were snatching up Caitlin Clark jerseys left and right, and her name became synonymous with WNBA fandom. But now, without her in the playoffs, merchandise sales were starting to slow down as well. The WNBA found itself in a difficult position. They had struck gold with Caitlin Clark. But the question remained, what happens when she's not around? How does the league continue to grow and thrive when one player has become the driving force behind its success? As the season wrapped up, it became clear that the WNBA had some serious work ahead. The league needed to find a way to build on the excitement Clark had brought and make sure that other players and teams could capture that same level of attention. It wasn't going to be easy, but it was necessary if the WNBA wanted to maintain the momentum it had gained. For players like Angel Reese and Alyssa Thomas, the challenge was even more personal. They had seen firsthand how much attention Clark had drawn and how much the league relied on her star power. Now they were faced with the task of stepping up and keeping fans engaged, even without Clark in the spotlight. The WNBA has always been a league full of talent and potential. But the 2024 season showed just how fragile its success can be. With Caitlin Clark leading the charge, the league had reached new heights but her absence revealed just how much work was still needed to make sure the WNBA could stand on its own without relying on one player to carry the load. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the latest developments in the world of sports. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates and in-depth analyses. Don't forget to leave your thoughts and predictions in the comments below. We love hearing from you and appreciate your support.
Until next time, keep enjoying the game and stay tuned for more exciting content.